Trace. This is Wilson Morales from Black from, This is Wilson Morales from Blackfilm.com. I'm here with the creators of the HBO short films. And before I get started, I'll let everybody introduce themselves as well as the films that they have. Let's start off again. All right. My name is Halima Lucas, and I'm the writer and director of Amelia's Closet. I'm here with my producer, Liz Boston. Now let's talk about a little bit as we introduce ourselves mm -hmm. what your short is about. Okay. And my short is about a young black girl, Amelia, who gets pretty heavily bullied in her school. And so she decides to start stealing from the kids in her class and bully her and hide the things in her closet. All right. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Dion Edwards. I'm the writer director of We Love Moses. Um, producer Georgia Goggin is just behind. Um, and We Love Moses, uh, it's got a lot of twists and turns in it, so I won't give away the full story, but um, it's about a young girl's first obsessive crush, age 12. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Kenneth Prince, and I'm the writer and director of Gemma, and this is Valencia, the producer of Gemma. And our film is about an uh, interracial couple. The girl is black, the guy is white, and she's getting ready to meet his parents for the first time. So, there's a little bit of drama. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Stefan Bristol. I am the director and co-writer of, of See You Yesterday. Um, it's about these two teenage prodigies who build a time machine to go back in time to stop a friend from being wrongfully killed by a cop. Mm -hmm. I'm Nayula Jefferson. I am the writer and director of Black Women's, and it's about a father and son trying to navigate life in a dying culture. Mm -hmm. And this is Jake Springfield. He was a DP on the film. He did a great job. Now anybody can answer it, so what goes into creating a short as opposed to a film? Is it about just telling a simple story in a short frame, or is it lack of money? Well, this is all we can shoot at this point. Anybody well, can answer it. Well, mine's quite a complicated story in, in a short time, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah, you have to kind of really, it has to be as condensed as possible, and you have to really kind of, kind of pack a punch in there, really. And um, yeah, you try and tell something simple. Now every story here is different, you know, which is great because the audience goes, are going to see something different. They can decide for themselves which one they like best, um, and it's a challenge to creating any film. So for anyone who can answer it, what was the most as challenging aspect of putting this together in terms of timing wise, or uh, money wise, or just you know trying to tell the right story that has the right impact? Anyone can take it. I say with ours, we were, I was pretty ambitious when I wrote it, um, but I had a relationship with some fishermen, so I'd be like, oh, can you give me a boat? Can we do it on water? Can you bring us out there? Can you make sure we can get back in time? So things like that, we had a bunch of locations that we you know, tried to fit into a 20 minute film. But I will say, as far as shorts go, I think they allow you to be a bit more um, out there and outrageous in your approach, um, more so than with a, a feature film. So that's kind of the upside of shorts. Now with the short films, uh, do you go in there with the mindset that, that should it do well and then anybody can go up to you, a producer, and say, hey, listen, I want to take this into a feature format. Is it created to make it into a longer form? Um, yes, yes. In my, in my film, um, people love it so far, um, including Spike, uh, Spike Lee. We are actually making it into a feature film, and he, has, he is the producer for the movie. And uh, me and my co-writer, Frederica, we're mm -hmm. writing it together. Mm -hmm. Now, with Gemma, Obviously, uh, you know, it's a different film, um, and you are using a real transgender, am I correct? In your film. Um, talk to me about taking that format and showing it to an audience, because now we get to see films like that, whereas five years ago, you probably couldn't get greenlit. Yeah, I feel like this is the new frontier. I feel like um, one of our, our film kind of is a homage to Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which came out mm -hmm. like 50 years ago. So I feel like this is the new frontier of conversation that we need to have because in terms of minorities go transgender women, especially transgender women of color, I think are the most marginalized. So mm -hmm. I think it's time we have this conversation. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, Mila's closet is dealing with not only just the daughter but the father. We don't see that many stories about single fathers taking care of their daughters. Mm -hmm. You know, was that the format you wanted to do? Because we've seen mothers and, and their plights in terms of taking care of children, but we don't have that many with fathers. Mm -hmm. You know, when I started writing the script, it didn't. Their relationship came naturally on the page, and it wasn't until we got into rewrites that it felt like really wanting to intentionally make sure that 
we showed this really great relationship between the single father and his daughter in a way that people haven't gotten to see in this multifaceted father and daughter relationship so that it wasn't you know one dimensional i think that especially specifically with black fatherhood you don't get to see that represented on on, on screen as much um in the way that i think amelia's closets had the opportunity to do it so yeah that was definitely you know became really important now your film is shot like you have a lot in there, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of the setting, the location. You know, when you're doing a short, you don't see that many shorts, you know, dealing with water. Mm -hmm. You know, so is that a challenging aspect, getting the rights to shoot it out there and, and creating all of that stuff? Well, I I had a relationship with these fishermen because of a documentary that I had done um, about three years ago. Um, so as I was writing, I would call them and be like, uh, is it okay if we do this? Or is it okay, can you bring us out there? Do we have your commitment? So they made it easy. So I have to really just be thankful and grateful to them for that. Um, I don't know if I made it easier for Jake and the crew, because you know, we're boating out there and you know, did we eat yet? You know, just trying to make sure that we are keeping all the guidelines and rules in order and top of mind. Um, but, it was challenging, but it was also exciting, like doing that type of stuff, and then when you're able to pull it off, and you go back and you see it, and you're like, dang, you know, it was hard, it was a hard day, it was a long day, but we got it. It's really rewarding and gratifying. Now with Moses, uh, as well as Camila's closet, we're, we're dealing with a little aspect of bullying, you know, in those movies. And granted, you guys didn't know each other when you were making it and so forth, but, uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, but can you talk about the aspect of, of that? Because we're seeing, obviously, stories of that, especially dealing with females and how you can put that in a film and, and tell a story, not around it, but mm -hmm. throwing that team in there. Mm -hmm. So what, what sort of made us talk about bullying in the Well, but there's a lot more, too, obviously. Okay. We love Moses besides that, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, but with Moses, you know, you, you're dealing with two different aspects, and I won't go into the plot because the audience is going to get it later on. But uh, did you did you think of that in terms of like give that little twist in there? Did I think about it? Yeah, I did. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of wanted to tell something that unfolds. I really love it when I feel like something's going somewhere and then it reveals itself to be something else. Um, but yeah, I kind of. I kind of wanted it to you to kind of go on this journey with this girl, and you know it, you're looking at she's getting bullied, and there's all these aspects of like what everyone goes through sort of as teenagers, um, but then also kind of really wider themes as well. But it all sounds very cryptic because I'm not really describing what happens. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. Well, each one of you has good films. I've seen them all. Let's hope you can make it to a feature film. If not, just keep creating, keep doing something that you love, and who knows? Let's see you in the next screen, big or small. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We're good.